Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91 and I'm talking about region lock. Now, for those who don't know, I live in the Bahamas. First of all, I'm grateful that I live so close to the US. First of all, I'm thankful to God that I live so close to the US that I'm actually able to get a lot of these consoles and stuff for a much better price than certain other countries. Certain other countries, the consoles are much more expensive, but I'm able to just hop over the pond, as people say, get that console and come back to my own country. But with living in a different country does come some disadvantages such as region locking. Now notice, I was trying to get Flight Simulator through the cloud with the Xbox Game Pass, and I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. And it's not just Microsoft, it's a lot of things here. But I wanna say this, it seems, it seems like it's mostly American companies. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are probably other companies that are also doing region locking, but with my Nintendo Switch, I don't seem to have this problem. Like, just now, it took me for ever to find an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate code that could actually work on my account. That was very weird, but that was more so because of the codes I were getting, I don't think they were the right codes or something like that. I ended up having to get this worldwide code, then put it in my actual Xbox console, not the computer, and then it finally worked. So, just saying, it seems like it's more of an American company thing, like with Microsoft, since they're an American company, it seems like region locking seems to be a bigger thing with like these American companies because with my Nintendo Switch, like I get a code from the States, I put it in here even though my account is Bahamian and it's fine. Like, it's fine. I, I just think that maybe because Sony and Nintendo are both, because I don't own a PlayStation console, but at least with Nintendo, I think maybe because they deal with probably people internationally more and Microsoft probably deals of course with, yes, they deal with international too, but I don't know, something about I think the Japanese companies, I think because they deal with international more. Them being region free is just like more for a lot of their features. While with Microsoft, even though I think they are region free with games, not all features are region free right now. So just saying, I just think that Microsoft and American companies in general, they need to think about this whole region lock thing because it really, I think, disturbs people or annoys people when they buy something and then they can't use the full features because certain features are locked by the region that they live in. But what do you guys think about this? And have any of you guys in other countries other than the US experienced like region locking on any of your consoles or stuff like that? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.